We gonna eat today. We gonna eat good today. <laughs> we gonna eat real good. I have made reservations. Not at the barbecue joint, because you actually can't make reservations, but I've made reservations down here, you see? <laughs> I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all this. <laughs> it's hard to do this when you're thinking about this. <laughs> did you did you just win that? <laughs> Five syllables. Dino so beef rib. Alright, to say I'm excited about this right now is a complete understatement. We were in Austin last year during the freeze, the snow began at the snow apocalypse, and it was a hectic time. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god. But out of that time came one of the best meat experiences of my entire life. I'm talking about Terry Black's beef rib, the size of my forearm. That's how big it was. And it was just juicy and marbled and just melted in my mouth. That's what I want right now. Oh, damn, what is that, bro? <laughs> That being said, I was recommended to not go back to Terry Black's in Austin, but to go to the original Black's in Lockhart, which is considered the smoked meat capital of all of Texas. I had this romantic idea to hit all three of the big names in Lockhart. Ain't gonna lie, that, that seems a bit uh, excessive of me to go to Schmidt's, to go to Kreutz, to go to Black's. I know I love Black's. I literally fell in love with that place. So we're gonna go to Black's first. If I have it in me to go to another one, I'll try <laughs> if I'm not too full. But I just gotta get that beef rib again. I'm expecting long lines today. I'm expecting a little bit of some meat sweats. You know what I mean? I'm sweating like a damn gazoon tight. That's gotta happen. Uh, Olivia is driving right now. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we're on our way. Let's go. Chose the best time because there's nobody in there. Wow. After the lunch rush. Hi. How's it going? Let's make a shark treat. Oh, thanks. So you get right into it. This yeah, is we'll do sides first. Perfect. It's just like a la carte. Oh, cool. I'll do some potato salad. Pickles would be cool. Maybe a few onions too, actually. A combo. Do you want a super sized pickle? These are good. <laughs> and then I move on. Yes. Brisk. A little bit of brisket. Yeah, I mean, if I need to be like. Three? Three? Three. Okay, what else I'm Perfect. And then... Well, I want to try a pork rib, too. Alright, for this video, I just... I didn't want to dilly-dally. I just want to get right into the meat of it. My little bit overwhelmed by all this. <laughs> it's hard to, to... It's hard to do this when you're thinking about this. Yeah. I was saying, supposedly this is the oldest barbecue joint that's run by the by a single family in Texas. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. Single family run, barbecue joint, oldest one in Texas. That's why we're here. So I gotta start with the pièce de résistance, the dinosaur beef <laughs> rib. Oh my God, the marbling on this thing. And look at it, it's already falling apart. I didn't even do anything. Look at that jiggle. That's some juicy rib. You ever wanted to hear a man's ass cheek uh, clap without uh, touching it? Uh, here you go. <laughs> oh, snap. I gotta start with it, I have to. All right, here I go. I don't even know where to begin. Dead center, I don't even care. Oh sweet Jesus. Quando vivo solo sueno horizonte falto de pelagra. The spices on that, mmm. It don't need no barbecue sauce. Zero. I mean the texture of this thing, it, it literally just melts like butter in your mouth. Daddy chill. Oh, the fat. Oh look at that fat right there. Oh. Honestly, that, that, that fat that just clings to the bone right there. All along this outside edge right here. Oh my gosh. That's just perfect. It's just perfect the way it is. Did you did you just win that? <laughs> did you <laughs> Dude, you make it look so good. It's good, it is good. <laughs> oh. It's great. Oh the fat. My goodness. 
I mean, this is something I could come back for every single year we come through Austin for Lockhart. Mm. Um, this is for Olivia. Okay. Good. The flavor of that? Mm. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna give that a rest. We'll move on to the pork rib. Again, that's what you want right there. Looks like a little crab, little claw. Doing it right. You're doing it right out of here. <laughs> also, juicy, delicious, perfectly seasoned, doesn't need anything. I had to get a little bit of everything. I mean, I didn't know what how to order. I'm not a barbecue expert. Here we go. Brisket. Oh. I'm just using my fingers too. I don't know if that's a is that okay? <laughs> is that a, am I breaking the rules? <laughs> What's your favorite? I mean, the, the dinosaur beef rib here is on a whole different level in my opinion. I mean, that's why, I've, okay, I've literally, not, I'm, I'm gonna share this with you. I've had dreams about this rib ever since I had it last year. I forgot when we were here, but it was, uh, it was a life-changing event. Oh. That's what you want on sauces right there. Mm. Last year I went with the, the jalapeno cheddar. This is the original. And for some reason, I think I prefer the original. It has a good, great flavor just on its own like that. It's really good. As uh, Theo Vaughn would say, get some freaking meat in your mouth. Get some freaking meat in your mouth. I uh, met a small Latino child there. And uh, his name was BBQ. I'm legit in a food coma right now, and I totally underestimated how full I was gonna be after that. Unfortunately, I will not be able to hit another BBQ joint. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I guess, is that how the expression goes? Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge, fuck. Oh, and I will quickly mention that Terry Blacks from Austin and Blacks from Lockhart as far as quality goes, as far as what they delivered to, to Olivia and I, the consistency of the quality was there in both of them. They were pretty much identical, I'd say. The one advantage though, of going to Lockhart, not just for the historical benefit of seeing where it all started, is also that it's a lot less busy than Terry Black's, especially midweek. And especially if you go between lunch and dinner and that kind of three, 4 p.m. time, you're gonna have most of the place to yourself. So that's something to keep in mind. It's only about a 30 minute drive from Austin. Uh, we have some friends who wanna go out for Taco Tuesday right now. Austin's a food city. I mean, that's a, there's no doubt about that. If you want good food, Austin's got it and it's got all kinds of options. So we're just enjoying, you know, we're gonna have a few drinks and uh, yeah, I need, a, I need a nap to recover right now. That's what I need. Ooh, she dirty, dude. Look at that. Marfa did its dirty work. Man, it was just so windy, but we haven't watched it in a while. Oh, it's working. Oh, wow, look at that. Nathan. Yeah. So many what? carcasses, so many <laughs> dead flies, and they're all fossilized. When your rig's finally starting to get so clean and shiny that you're just getting blinded by the light. I'm getting into it. So fun fact, not all RV parks let you wash your rig at their park. Hey Finn. <laughs> and we haven't washed our rig since St. George. So that was probably like four months ago. All right, we got a new truck mod. Got these. Another one. <laughs> hammer lock coupling links because the F-250s have such a weird setup. With this mount here, it's been a pain in my ass to like get the chain hook through. Yeah. It's been like a nightmare to get it on as hard and then once I have it on to get it off as hard. So this should pretty much solve the problem. Yeah, so these hooks like on these chains are so narrow that it was like so difficult to, to slide that through because that's all I had and then to get them off. So 
this should basically solve the problem once this is gonna be on here. Oh no. Hopefully. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. I was freaking out, I was like, no! <laughs> so that should hang out, no problem. So I can just slide that on so easily like that and then take it off just like this, boom. And that just saves me so much effort. All right, let's try it. Oh now you said- don't, don't mind my crabby shorts, man. My short crabby shorts. <laughs> You crabby pants, Walmart literally. Walmart, eight ninety nine. <laughs> the first thing I do is remove this little pin, like this, like so. Split them in half. I'm gonna put that through, just like that. Put it back on. And now the idea is to start to put this pin through, and then use this piece to essentially lock it into position. I'm gonna have to hammer it into position. Okay, I think that's right. So then I have to hammer it now. Boom. Nice. You did it. Oh, and like there was this cheap, slightly cheaper one that was bright red, and I was like, I gotta stick with the black. black. Go make it swag. Better, yeah. Make it look good. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's go. It's time to chill, dude. We earned it. Gym. We've been in there a lot of days. And a big thanks to our Patreon fam. The support we get from you guys to keep doing what we love means a lot. Especially with these insane gas prices. You truly keep us going and we appreciate you. Alright, time to give these hammer locks a go. <laughs> see how they do. Let's see how hard this is. Ready? Yeah. Hiya! Oh my god, what a difference. What oh dude, the I'll exhaust take is literally, okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so I'm taking it off. Look at this. Just pull it. Done. Dude, you're so happy. So much freaking saved my time. <laughs> All right, we're leaving Austin. B -b 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 Bucky! We back. Exit now. Did somebody say brisket sandwich? Beef j j j j jackie Buggy's time. One more time for barbecue. So get on your seat, bail and drive. In and out. In Texas? In and out. <laughs> get a double double. Don't forget to get the animal style fries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we back at Busey's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's our family's first time at Busey's. We're all so excited. We're back at Bucky's, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get a few sandwiches. Probably not get any jerky this time because we got a bunch of these little sausages in the car. But <laughs> I'm just excited to be back on the road. This feels like a road trip. Whenever I you know, come to Bucky's, so. I love Bucky's, dude. Smoked turkey, peppered bacon, cheddar cheese, and sun dried tomato pesto sauce. Wow. Fried chicken. I'm gonna have to get one at least. Yeah. Going with the melt this time. Sure. So, you know that nostalgic feeling when you go to Costco, you got all the food stands? I kind of feel that way with Bucky's. It's like the gas station, it's like the, the Costco of gas stations. You know, you come here, it's like abundance of options and you can pretty much sample everything if you want. You just ask them for a sample and they'll give you a little taste. Uh, we got a few samples in there. We weren't bold enough to try the, uh, was it ghost pepper jerky? Cause the hot, we tried the hot first, it was hot enough. All right, we're we trying. We can share this piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a dead cat, it's for audio. Yeah, no. it does look like a dead cat though, you know? It kinda, yeah. You're like, what yeah. is that on your camera? Well, this is good. It's not too spicy. It, it no? a little hot as you did, but it's not too spicy. Yeah, it does actually. Oh, it's got some heat for sure. Okay. I'm glad I didn't go for the ghost pepper because it's hot enough. I'll stop there, but then we saw the club melt and I was like, we, this is new on the menu, club melt. 
I like my melts. Let's do it. Oh my dude. Ah. Uh, yeah. Spicy mayo. Oh, there's bacon sticking out. I already like this bread already. I was hoping it was kind of a sourdough, and that looks like a sourdough to me. Dang, dude. Got bacon. Damn. honest i prefer this over the brisket yeah last time you said the brisket it was good but then after... well, i wasn't wowed by it yeah but this it was like i don't know spicy mayo it's a little bit tangy and then a good amount of meat and the bread i like the texture of the bread that's good and you can't go wrong with jerky mm. oh wait 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 this one was we tried this one cherry maple cherry maple amazing beef jerky mm. love this one yeah it was really good not dry, a lot of flavor. Yeah, super, super. And moist. super good texture. All right, Sade. Sade. 